something for you, what, could you talk about your PSA in the South Lawn? Haven't done it yet. That's down. next on the list. What, could you talk about why? Why are you doing it? We're going to be doing a PSA to encourage kids to get out there and go to the parks. You know, really, really enjoy the outdoors. And uh, I know that was really important to us when we were kids. So you know, we're trying to make that important to them, too. So what is the, what is the importance for you guys right now for that camp, especially to promote young kids? Like, is it because of health issues, obesity, diabetes, what? Absolutely. We're heavily involved, of course, with diabetes and you know children and their health because of you know, the platform that we do have. But um, especially for us, I think it's very important for kids to get out and exercise. We um, on stage run around constantly for about an hour and 45 minutes, and we know what that can do. You know, just as you feel great at the end of the night, you, and when you wake up the next morning, we just know that when you're outside and you're in the parks and you have a great place to spend your time, it's amazing. So we, we thought that this was a great platform for us to be able to be a part of. And one of you um, does have diabetes, correct? I do, yes. Could you talk to me about how you exercise your personal, your personal regimen? Um, you know, diabetes is kind of managed off of insulin and, um, you know, checking your blood sugar and all that and also, you know, being active. And for me, like Kevin said, I'm performing every night. We're on stage for an hour and 45 minutes and exert a lot of energy and, and really do stay in shape that way. I love sports and, uh, you know, being active. So I think those are all really good ways you can do that. So this was a no-brainer to do this PSA. Right. Definitely. We are extremely, you know, inc you know, honored that we would even be asked to be a part of it. Just to begin to be here, um, you know, with this honor of being at the White House is amazing. To be able to do it, it's really awesome. Nick, what do kids say to you uh, when you talk about your diabetes or they talk about what happened to them? I hear so many stories of kids coming up and telling me that I was an inspiration to them. Uh, a lot of kids feel alone when they first get diagnosed with diabetes. So for me to be able to say that I'm here for you, we're here for you, is really an honor. And uh, it, it makes me feel I'm just so encouraged at the end of the day because all I'm trying to do is make it through another day managing diabetes. And they're just doing the same thing. We're all there for each other. So you guys, um, the youth, you're, you're representing the youth, a lot of young people like you. There is um, a change, as you know, in the next couple of months, people are going to go to the polls. What would you say to young people who listen to you and watching you, will be watching your videos, your PSAs on the South Lawn? What do you say to young people about getting involved in the process? You're here at the political mecca, and you're sending a message about politics from the White House with this PSA to a certain extent. What would you say to young people about the process going forward and picking another president? We would say that um, as a band, we are not in a place to endorse any political campaign, but we do, you know, me and Joe are both um, of age, vote, vote, voting age, so we do endorse voting, getting to know the issues, learning about the candidates, and learning from what, learning what you know and, dis and make a decision for yourself. Are you guys going to vote? Absolutely. I think it's everyone's, you know, duty as a citizen, uh, uh, you know, as as citizen of the United States to make sure you to vote. What are you going to tell the kids? What are you going to tell your kids after you leave the polls? Is this, is this your first of all? Is this your first time? It actually is. Um, ironically enough, my birthday is on November 5th. So I didn't get to vote last last time because I was ill and that was just one day, a day off, a day off or something like that. So, um, um, so actually this year it will be both of our first times voting. How do you feel? Do you feel empowered that you can make a difference possibly in the course of the nation? I think it's just um, an open opportunity to have a, a good voice, you know, and, and I think especially to let everyone know that if you can vote, I think it's good to vote, and I think it's good to have your own voice and your own opinions on things. Have any candidates approached you about getting you to endorse them? <laughs> no, not yet. Um, it would be an honor, but I don't think, uh, I don't think that it's happened fully. Are you guys going to go perform for the troops anywhere anytime soon? We have made. Okay, no, we would love to. I mean, any opportunity that we'd ever get to do that would be an honor. We've made one trip um, to Germany at the Ramstein Air Force Base about a year and a half ago, something like that. Um, it was our first trip overseas, and it was an amazing opportunity. We got to hang out with some of the kids of the, you know, of the troops, and it was really an honor. And hopefully, we can be back with Nick said very soon. How are you guys holding up? Do you ever get any downtime? Um, we do. We had a day off yesterday, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Played some yes. golf. It was awesome. Play golf? Who's the best golfer? I don't know. You took my question. <laughs> I I have been playing the longest, so probably me. But we all really enjoy it. Who's the worst golfer? Hmm. I don't think anyone's going to admit to that. Yeah. So. yeah. Dad. <laughs> Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the most difficult to travel with? Who's the most difficult to travel with? I think, you know, surprisingly enough, we get along really well, and especially when we're on the road. We know how to give each other our space. People say, "Wow, you're cooped up in that bus so much all the time." But for us. 
um, we know how to close our, our curtains in our bunk and like go into your own little world. And um, I think as a family, we like to be together and that's why we stick together. We travel together, we do everything we can together. Just one last question. You've been here at the White House, you say, many times. The president isn't here, but you got a chance to go around the White House today and you went to a place that you, you seemed like you didn't know before. The, the pool. What did you think about the fact that there is actually a pool in the, in the briefing room that you signed the wall? <laughs> um, that's really cool. I think hopefully we'll come back again and be able to maybe years from now look back and see our names up there on the, on the pool wall. Um, there's other names up there that um, just are astounding. Um, some of our favorite artists to politicians, but I mean, it's going to be really cool to, um, to maybe see that 10 years, 20 years from now. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you all very much. Thank you all very much. Um, we're going to take the voice to shoot the PSA. The press will all come grab you in a couple minutes. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate your time. White House correspondent, April Ryan.